Uh, Alan's in Pennsylvania. How you doing, Alan? All right. How you doing? Uh, excellent. Thank you. What's your question? Um, yes, I bought a farm here about six years ago, and it's a duck unlimited farm. And, you know, the pond was, and now I'm, I have some bass in it for the last couple of years, and it's not. Um, and my fish just ca kind of died last year, and I don't know the reason why. And um, I was wondering what I could do to get how many bass bass goes in a two acre pond, and how you know how to take care of them. Well, Alan, the first thing you need to know is why they died. What time of year did you did you find them dead? Was it summer, winter, spring? I think it was the end of um, end of summer. No, My dad was riding a four wheeler around it. He yeah. saw a bunch of them laying there. Well, I tell you, the problem then is water quality deteriorated. What happens? Just a real quick spiel here is is when summer comes on, heat goes into the water, generates growth, creates plankton, and then the water becomes stratified. In other words, it's kind of like a layer cake. You'll get a warm layer of water sitting on top of a cold layer of water. And as the summer goes on, that warm layer tends to shrink and becomes more intense with what's growing in it. Then maybe in uh, August, you'll get a heavy rainstorm blow through, and uh, it takes that warm water, cools it down, and the two, two layers of water mix, and you have a turnover. And that's typically what happens in Pennsylvania in, uh, in the summertime to cause a fish kill. So I think your number one issue is going to be what can you do to cleanse your water and get it ready to set the stage to have bass, bluegill all, all the time. So I'd look at my water first.